Lucas. My name is Norris Precious Ayokintola, and I'm here today to enlighten women on menstrual hygiene. Menstruation is a normal biological process that occurs when um, the, um, the uterus sheds its outer lining and then blood and tissue comes out from the vagina. Good menstrual health and hygiene practice prevents infection, prevents odors, and it keeps you very comfortable throughout the period of your menstrual cycle. Now, there are various sanitary products in which we use. You could use the one that is preferable for you. We have sanitary pads, which is the most common. We have um, tampons, we have menstrual cup, we have menstrual dicks. Now, depending on what goes with you depending on what you want to use the time for change differs if you're going to use a sanitary pad make sure that you change it every few hours three hours maximum make sure you change your sanitary pad if you're going to use a tampon tampons could stay for four hours five hours but don't use a tampon that stays up to six hours there isn't a sanitary cup after it's full just make sure you discard you clean and put it back now during your menstrual period make sure that you um, and maintain essential hive hygiene. Make sure you wash your hands before and after putting a new sanitary product. Now, during this period, also make sure that you're wearing lightweight, breathable fabrics that will help you, that will reduce the heat in your area. Make sure that your genitals are always clean. Wash your genitals often, but do not douch. What is douching? Douching is when you are washing your vagina with water or any other chemical product. Now, when I say keep your genitals, we are talking about the vulva. Vulva is the outer area of your of your um, of your private part, while the vagina is the inside. Do not douch, but keep your genital area clean. Now, during this period, notice that you are losing fluid, you are losing blood. As a lady, there's an amount of blood you use every month. So, what do we do in this instance? As to not become anemic, make sure that you are replenishing your fluid. Drink enough liquid. Then eat food rich in iron. Food rich in iron help you in your blood supply. Which food are rich in iron? We have beans, we have meats, we have fish, lentils, broccoli. We have various food that are rich in iron and they want to use this. Now, hygiene. Make sure that during your premenstrual period, the kind of underwear you are using, make sure it is cotton. Cotton underwear is a breathable fabric that helps you dispense the silk underwear, the nylon underwear. This won't help with free flow and it won't also help with the um, hygiene of your of that area. Okay, keep your um, your underwear also. If you're going to use a, um, a cotton underwear that you reuse, that's not menstrual pants that you're disposing, make sure that you wash it often. You wash it immediately after you do not store it. And also, whichever menstrual product you use, make sure that you discard properly. If you're going to use a sanitary pad, make sure it is wrapped around with probably a tissue or a linen or something. Then do not put in the toilet because it's known to block toilet holes. So make sure you wrap it well. And then some ladies make use of tissue, make use of cotton wool. And they said it works well for them. Now, this is the disadvantage of using tissue or cotton wool. If you're using tissue, these are um, menstrual products. They are not really menstrual products, but these are things that could detach. And then when they detach, some fragments can drive up to your vagina and then go. This is, it will not be a foreign substance in your reproductive system that could cause anything further on. So if you're using correct sanitary product, it's when therefore that you have you are your maintaining a good menstrual hygiene. So in conclusion or in summary, let's try to know that menstruation is not a stigma, it's not an embarrassing thing, it's a normal biological process for every woman, every lady who has a female reproductive system. It's a normal biological protection of feel stigmatized and then make sure you make sure you are always prepared. Make sure you know your menstrual cycle so you are not caught on our ways, so you are not embarrassed or prom or stigmatized in public due to stains or whatever. Make sure you are always prepared, make sure you are taking extra menstrual products in your bags and all. So thank you for joining me in today's fertility focus. We'll also be 
live next week Thursday for our fits little focus and if you're not following us on our platform platforms follow us on all our social media platforms that's clear for you thank you